Well, hello everyone. My name is Rick Pasek, the fly fish fanatic, and welcome to my tying bench. Today, I'll be tying another little buzzer pattern. I love this little pattern. It's a little chartreuse in black. Uh, it's been a killer for me and uh, many a day. So, let's not play around. Let's give her. So, in the vice today, I've got a Hens BL550 in a size 12. Really like these clink hammer, uh, the Hens clink hammer hooks for, for chronomids. Um, Zemperfly Nano Silk in black. And I'll be using some chartreuse um, um, oh, geez, body span. And I will be using some chartreuse uh, goose bites. That's it. I might put in a little flashy head. We'll see if I feel like it. But let's give her. So get the uh, tying thread started right up at the eye. Come on in the back. I'm going to actually swing my little magnifying glass over because I'm old and blind or half blind literally so I'm just gonna go to there just gonna nip off my excess okay flatten my thread you'll hear me say that many times throughout this pattern flatten your thread just want to keep it flat right all the way down around this corner okay and then I'm going to open my wraps up and come back and I'm going to leave quite a bit of room for my thorax now I'm going to take the span flex or body flex or wherever you call it from depending on the company you get it from give that a good pull another good one and then I'm going to really crank on this tight I want this to be thin because I don't want to make my buzzer too thick the body right so all the way down around that corner and then let it go turn flatten my thread flatten it right up and then try to cover that body span right up if you miss a part stop and go get it Again, spin, flatten it up, flatten it up, flatten it up. So now I'm just going to come to about there. I'm going to stop for a second. And I'm going to grab, I'm just going to put this in my material clip so it's out of my face. I'm going to grab, <laughs> that worked. I'm going to grab my little tweezers and my scissor. And I'm going to grab that span flex at the front here again because... I don't want to build up too much over there right now in the front, so I'm just going to pull. I could have made that a bit smaller when I tied it in, but I actually quite like doing it this way because I know that I've got it tied in well, because now it kind of gets sucked in there. And now we'll just go back over. So that's it. Don't go any further forward than that. As a matter of fact, that might be a little bit too far, so I'm going to go to there. Now I'm going to take my span flex and I'm going to really stretch the crud out of it in the back here. Really want it stretched. Really want it stretched. Okay, and then I'm slowly loosening off as I come forward here. I want it to almost be a little bit thicker as I come forward. It almost acts uh, almost like its own little taper. It makes it look like a taper, right? And you loosen off here. It's all going to get coated anyway, so... But there... So there, I'm gonna come back with my thread. I'm actually gonna spin this up for this portion. And then I'm gonna lay my span flex down, really get that hook caught in really well. Okay, and then in front, and then over, and then in front. Pull this, not crazy tight, but pull it. Just so you end up with just a little tag. See that? A little tag. Okay. Now, I'm actually going to loosen off my hook. And I'm going to give it, put it almost like it's on straight on the top now. Right? So like that. Just makes tying a little bit easier. So I'm going to come right back to where I cut off that span flex. And I'm just going to create a little bit of a, a bulbous body here. Not much right now. 
I can do more in a minute. But I do want to build up just a little bit of a bulbous body. Okay. Now, I decided I'm going to do what I uh, put a piece of flash in. So I'm just going to cut off a piece of, uh, this is like some Zemperfly silver hollow flash, hollow tinsel. And I'm just going to tie this in on my side and let it pull it up on top. Come on. Actually, I'm going to come back a bit and pull that over yeah. and then just come and make sure it's sitting right on top. So if it's not, just give it a twist and then come right back to where you stopped with your thorax. Okay. And now come forward again. So now, depending on what you want to do, and actually, you know what? I'm going to show you guys that this looks cool too. So I'm not going to use the bias. I'm actually going to use the same that I used for the rib as my gills, as my wing buds, sorry. So now I'm just going to put it around my thread, get it underneath there once around. And once it is once around, I'll let it open up and go around it a couple of times. Then I'm going to bring one to each side and hold it underneath. I want this to stay under. All right, so I'm just going to want these to stay under. How's that side looking? That's good, yeah. So I want them to stay under. Now I'm just going to, and then I'm going to double check to see how those look. Give that just a bit of a twist. There we go. See, so they're both coming from right underneath. So now I'm just going to build up a bit of a football shape. You definitely want, with these buzzers, you want to definitely have a pr pronounced thorax section here. It's going to be, definitely has to be bigger than the uh, body. So you want that, you want to build this up here a bit, right? So now I'm going to come back to the front. And I'm going to pull over my the top, the silver flash or hollow tinsel in this case. Just give it a good pull to make sure it's tight. Nice and tight. Pull this back, go in front. Nip that off. Take my two wing buds. Bring them up. You want these up. You want these to come up. Just get, that, get a hold of that. Just give it a bit of a, a pull to tighten those up a bit. Just a bit. Okay, and then a one, two, three there. Pull all that back, give it one in front. One there. I'm going to try to do a whip finish with these right where they are. I'm trying to get any of those in there. So that's just a two turn whip finish, more of a secure security right now. Then I'm not going to pull too, too tight with these. I don't want them to retreat back in. One. Now I'm just going to build a little bit of a head. So once I get that up there, I just want to build a little bit of a head back over top. I want to make sure those, those uh, wing buds don't pop off. One, two, three, whip, turn whip finish. Nice and tight. Don't tighten too, too much with this stuff. Again, you'll, nano silk will cut it, right? So now I'll take my lighter quickly. I see there's a few little scruffies on the back here. That's it. Really quick. I'm not really letting it, I don't want it to touch that, uh, that flexi floss um, because it'll, uh, it'll burn that and melt it. So now, it's some, get some UV resin, in this case, Gulf Thinman. I'm going to put it right on top. And where's my little bod kit to spread with? 
I like getting this this the head area done first. Get these uh, wing buds protected, and that silver tinsel in the top. And if there's too much, just spread it down the body. This might be enough for the whole fly, actually, because I don't want too too much, right? need it just a tad more to finish this off just to get it just a tad onto the body and then I can do the whole thing in one shot just make sure it's nicely spread that you've got those cheeks and that Mirror tinsel especially, those two have to be protected. Let it do its thing for a sec. Look how that thing, <laughs> look how that lights up. Stuff is awesome. Love how these light up. And there's my little chartreuse buzzer. that's all nicely cured and then I'll go back over it with a little coat of uh, Sally Hansen's when I'm done but that's it that is the uh, my little chartreuse buzzer that those those cheeks really stand out and then that little bit of flash on the top there that piece of uh, hollow tinsel really helps right so and you can you can switch that up you can put green hollow tinsel up there or red or whatever just to get a little bit of an, an additional little hot spot so alrighty Hope you guys enjoyed that. If you subscribe, thank you. If you have not, please consider doing so. Spread the word. Let everybody know about this. Um, starting on April, whatever it is, 3rd, I think it is, a Sunday. Um, I'm going down to two videos a week, Sundays and Wednesdays. I don't know when this one's coming out. so, But uh, that's what I'll be doing is Sundays and Wednesdays from now on for the fishing season. Because I want to go fishing too. So, uh, yeah, Sundays at uh, 9 a.m., 9.30 a.m., and, and Wednesday evenings at 6 from now on until uh, end of September. Then I'll be going back to 3 again. So, tie lines, everyone.